Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Paint Those Piggies. Today I have a shorter video, hopefully, for you guys. Today I have swatches and a review of the three Sally's Lisbon collection polishes. I don't ever remember there being Sally's exclusives for collections that OPI puts out, but for the OPI Lisbon collection, there are three Ulta exclusives and three Sally's exclusives. These were hard to get my hands on. I don't think they're readily available at Sally's yet, but they are available online. I know for sure that's how I got mine. These were hard. To, <laughs> these were really hard to hunt down, but there are three exclusive to Sally's and three exclusive to Ulta. I do have all six. I am going to do reviews and swatches of both of them obviously and I think what I'm gonna do is do a dupe video combining both of them so this video is going to be a swatches and review of the Sally's exclusives. There's a red, a kind of like a rose gold, and a white, and there actually aren't dupes for any of the six. So surprisingly, I thought there was going to be like really close dupes kind of for all of them, but the only one that I was close on was the blue from the Ulta exclusives, and that was a Zoya polish. So I am going to combine all of them um, in the style that I did for the full Lisbon collection with the swatch sticks but I'm gonna do that in a separate video and combine all six of them so so this video is gonna be swatches and review just of the polishes so let's get right into it so starting off the very first one I thought was definitely gonna be dupable but it wasn't this first one is a white and this is called set apart by tile art This one I actually really, really enjoyed. This was the first one I swatched out of all of them. So far I've only swatched the three from Sally's and I'm very happy to see another white kind of off-white polish by OPI because my boyfriend Scales Walls is like a cult classic and um, there's kind of like two off-white polishes. This one is actually better than the one in the Lisbon collection in my opinion. It just needed two coats which I was surprised at. The first coat was a little bit streaky but I got away with two coats in my swatches so I was very happy about that. I kind of had a hard time figuring out what the color in this was. It obviously is a white but it has a drop of something in it. I kind of feel like it's got a drop of like almost like a periwinkle blue to it. I haven't compared it with swatch sticks which will make me kind of compare it to other whites and see exactly what the color tone is in it but I think it's got like a touch of blue to it so it makes it more of like a crisper white but it's definitely not like a pure pure white like OPI's Alpine Snow but I was pleasantly surprised by this. If you're a little bit less careful when you're painting your nails you'll need three coats but I wasn't too careful and I got away with two coats. So I was very pleasantly surprised by this. It's definitely one that I'm going to be reaching for and so that again is OPI's Set Apart by Tile Art. Next up we have this kind of rose gold of the collection and I was kind of disappointed when I saw that this was one of the exclusives because I thought it was very similar to Made It to the Seventh Hill which is in the same collection but when I got it I actually like it more than that other polish from the Lisbon collection. This actually reminds me of Think Mary Pink Mary which is a much older color but I actually have it in my collection and it's one of my favorite OPI polishes but it's definitely not readily available. I did actually compare it on my swatch sticks because it's one of my favorite polishes but I don't think people can really get their hands on it. So this polish is called Hitting the Portuguese Pavement. This polish is a much more rose gold tone polish, but it does lean more pink than it does like that almost like coppery rose gold. But this one does have a lot of silver shimmer in it, which is why it reminds me of Think Mary Pink Mary. And that's why I really like it. It is a metallic polish, so it does show a little bit of those brush strokes. But if you don't mind those, I think that the silver shimmer in this is what really makes it that kind of like 
like sparkly and pretty polish. I just really like this polish because it reminds me of that old OPI polish that I really kind of like fell in love with. It's not going to be a polish for everybody, but I really like it. I just think it's like shimmery and pink and pretty and that silver shimmer really gives it something extra that it just kind of makes it more than a rose gold polish. So I like it more than um, made it to the seventh hill in the actual core collection. So this one kind of trumps that polish for me. This one had a good formula. It was a little bit sheer on the first coat, but I found that I had no problem with it in two coats. If you want to do a little bit thinner coats, I would do three thin coats or two thicker coats. So it's really just your polish preference. In my swatch photos, I did kind of a thin first coat and then a thicker second coat. So it just depends on your polish preference. I would do two thick coats or three thinner coats. So that one again is hitting the Portuguese pavement. Last up for the Sally's exclusives, this one is called I Absolutely Am Adoria. This one I was sure I had a dupe for, and then when I went to pull polishes that were similar, I had absolutely nothing to compare it to. I was really shocked. This one is such a warm red with a ton of gold shimmer in it. I had nothing to compare it to. It's almost like so warm that it leans a little bit close to orange, but it still counts as red. So, so this polish is like a warm, warm red jelly. And normally I don't like jelly formulas, but for some reason, if it's red, it's okay to be a jelly. I don't know why, but this one is so, so warm and it's got a ton of gold shimmer in it, which doesn't really get lost on the nails. And I ended up really liking it. It's got a fantastic formula. You can see a little bit of nail line if you're really paying attention, but I used two coats and I didn't have any problems with it. You can see a little bit of nail line if you're really looking closely, but honestly, it's so smooth. It's so buttery to apply. I didn't have anything even remotely similar in my collection, and that really is something when OPI comes out with a million and one reds. I just like had it up to all my reds and was like, nope, that's not similar, that's not similar, that's not similar, and I couldn't even come up with anything close. So I, that's pretty impressive compared to all the reds that OPI comes out with. So this one, a ton of golden shimmer in it, and it is a very warm red jelly polish, but I actually really liked it. So that is OPIs, I absolutely am Adoria. So that is all three of the OPI Lisbon Collection Sally's exclusives. When I saw them in the mail, I have to be honest, I was underwhelmed. I thought I definitely have polishes that are similar to these. Again, I will compare them to swatch sticks of similar polishes, but I don't have anything that are kind of even close to dupes. There are some similar ones to the middle rose gold polish, but nothing that's really dupable. But overall, I really like all three of the polishes and I'm happy with them. They would say they're not anything that I would say like you have to go out immediately and buy them, but they are three really good shades. I think the first two were my favorites. I would leave the red if I had to pick, but I really enjoyed them. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. Let me know if you're gonna pick up any of the Sally's Lisbon exclusives. And thank you guys as always for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.